emergency broadcast. We're sorry. All circuits are busy now. Will you please try your call again? Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the comms prepper of one of the comms prepper helpers. Hi Preppers. And today we're going to do a video on how to transmit images using slow scan TV from a base station configuration to a field unit. And I've done this in the past where I've used the field unit here to transmit images back to a base station location, but today we're going to flip it around and use the base station to transmit images out to a field location. Let's say it's a hurricane or a tornado or something else in your area and you're doing search and rescue or something and you need a copy of a map uh, or some directions. Well, that's what we're gonna do here. We've got this set up with the MMSS TV software right there. And we've got three images set up and I've already modified those images to put my call sign in so it's amateur radio compliant embedded in the image. And we're gonna transmit those three images here from the Toshiba laptop with the USB signal link to the ocean radio. I have that set up here with a magnetic NMO mount with a tram antenna here and we're running five watts and I apologize for that clicking you're hearing that's the focusing motor and I couldn't find my external microphone today I think it's in the car and that's out grocery shopping so I'm gonna pause here the comms prepper helper is actually gonna set those images up and transmit those to me and I'm gonna pick those up here with the Kenwood radio on the iPad Okay guys, we're set up in the field location and we're going to simulate where I sent a request for three different images to a base camp. And the comms prepper helper is going to send those images out here and we'll capture them on the iPad and then they'll be automatically saved onto the iPad to be pulled up later in other applications. So we'll go ahead and hopefully start getting the first image from the comms prepper helper here, which should be a map down in Miami. And here comes that map now. And again, we're receiving that on this Kenwood handheld here, and it's interfacing into the iPad. And we're actually transmitting this image out with an ocean radio connected to a laptop computer. And to be compliant, because we're using amateur radio frequencies for this, I've actually embedded my call sign into this image. So as it scans down, you'll see my Russian call sign here, R3CU, which is required when doing slow scan TV. And there's the call sign coming into frame now. And this is being sent out in the Scotty 1 format. Now there's other formats that have less resolution that are faster. So depending on the image you want to send, you could use a faster format if you're willing to compromise some resolution. So there we go, we have the first image in. And that'll automatically save or auto save onto the iPad. And then hopefully we'll get the second one here shortly, which is actually going to be text. This is going to be a, a shift schedule or a patrol schedule. I'm sorry, there's our second image and we'll go ahead and start getting our third image now. And this is going to be an aerial view, so this is simulating a search and rescue kind of thing. You know, how to work back to a base camp or cover, look for areas already covered. And with each one of these images, again, I embed my amateur radio call sign because I'm transmitting this out on amateur radio frequencies. So here we took the aerial view and actually edited it in Microsoft Paint, showing a patrol area using a red line with an arrow at the end, working around an open field. Let's say you're looking for somebody or somebody got lost or something. It's just to simulate how you can edit a photograph and then transmit it out to the field. I hope this comes in okay with the glare.
Now one of the things I had to do was adjust the timeout timer setting in the ocean radio so it wouldn't cut the transmission off in the middle of sending out these pictures. You need a little more time to get them out. So there you are, there's the third picture. And I think this is a good demonstration of how you can send imagery to the field to remote units uh, to support emergency communications and disaster operations. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the comms prepper with the comms prepper helper making a video on how you can send imagery to the field.